Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to install a plugin that can change our current theme to be user-friendly for an iPhone users or any other smartphone users. So, how can we test it on our desktop? If you use Firefox, you can install a user agent switcher. And then you go to tools and then you will see default user agent. So, let's say I'm not... I deactivated so once you install your add-on you're going to uh, go to tools on Firefox menu bar and click on that to see default user agent menu and then you're going to choose an iPhone 3 options so that you can test this site uh, as you use uh, an iPhone so I don't have this plugin installed on my blog but uh, I'm interested to install it uh, maybe in a few days so uh, this is the end result uh, sorry no this is the end result of this tutorial that uh, now I'm going to resize my Firefox window like on uh, an iPhone display size so we can say more and less this is an iPhone display and you see now I have a mobile theme which is quite nice so of course this one is much more nicer than uh, this one so you have to scroll down to the bottom to see something that you look and I think this is not really uh, handy for uh, smartphones or an iPhone users comparing to this simple uh, stuff. So now uh, we are going to work with this site. We're going to have something like this, right? And first of all, you're going to your dashboard. So this is my dashboard and then go to app, uh, plugins and add new. And here you're going to type in WP touch and hit search plugins. Here it should be in the first row and you can click on details to read uh, details of the plugin. But for this trial, I'm going to hit install now button and hit OK. And activate plugin. Right. And uh, this is the site before installing the plugin. And this is the site after installing the plugin. As you can see, by default, without doing anything, your current theme will be automatically uh, converted to uh, have a users or smartphones user compatible theme. Uh, and then if you have, this is the menu, if you click the arrow button there, you have uh, home, RSS feed, email, tags and categories. Now, uh, like I said, you don't have to modify these things, but uh, uh, for me personally, I'm just going to hit some, uh, to modify some settings. So, for example, like here, the copyright, the footer, you can change with anything you want. And advanced uh, options, you can read or choose anything you want. But uh, for me personally, the most important is uh, here on the uh, pages and icons. Uh, in this blog, in this demo, I have sample page. But imagine if you have contact page and about me page and anything, uh, any page like that, then then you will want to include to this uh, menu button. So now, uh, for example, now I want this sample page to be included because by default, this is only showing home button. And maybe I want to show uh, all of my pages. So if you have uh, your pages here, you're going to choose which pages you want to include to this menu. And then... Uh, I don't want to enable my email menu item because if I have a contact page, I'm going to include that contact page to avoid some spammer. So that's it. And then I'm going to hit save options once you're done with your modification. Right. And and then you refresh your blog. And then let's say uh, what we have. So I'm going to hit there. And then I have uh, I have now sample page menu. So if I go to my sample page page, this is how it will be displayed on a, a mobile theme. So uh, actually that's it. And once more, if you don't like your modification, you can just rest, uh, click restore defaults button and then it will restore the default settings from this plugin. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it's going to be helpful for you and see you in the next video. Take care.